All right, so I haven't painted with oils or inks in well over 20 years, well, or close to 20 years, um, basically, basically because it reeks to high heaven. Um, I'm using printer's ink, ink from my days as a printer, and the ink itself is probably 30 years old at this time. And I've mixed it with printer's varnish so that it's thinner and he's and it dries faster and it just oh my god it smells this this was something I was very accustomed to back when I was a printer um, but the kids are gonna freak out when they come home later and I'm gonna have to put the I'm gonna have to put this all outside because I know it's too much for anybody <laughs> to handle um, so we'll see what happens now the, 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 so the, the ink that I'm using it's not paint but it's it's I'm mixing it to the consistency of paint is um, an old AB Dick oil base ink called Commodore Blue and we switched after I had, I worked there for 20 years we switched from using the AB Dick tubes of, of ink to mixing our own ink uh, using the Pantone matching system probably after I was there five years so um, so this ink may be close to 40 years old. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. And, and, and all I'm, the only reason I'm using it right now, well, I'm using it for a couple of reasons. Um, I, only, I only have so much. I have like six tubes, and so I, that's what I'm going to use in addition to maybe other paints. And I'm using it basically as the background. I, I often like to create work with layers and textures, and I don't know necessarily where I'm going yet. It's more about capturing a mood, and um, for me, my mood is one of, let me see, let me just see how it goes. It's, it's been so long since I've done this type of painting, this type of artwork, that I'm, my chops are probably totally off, and um, I just have to do it, you know? And, and then what will happen is, as I paint, Images will suggest themselves, meaning will suggest themselves, and then I'll start incorporating, you know, some type of symbology um, so that it makes it more interesting to look at. And right now, all I'm really trying to do is just get it, as much of it as possible on the canvas, but that doesn't mean I want it to all be smooth at this time, because I'm going to be going over this again and again. There's going to be multiple layers, and so it's not really critical, though it, affect, though it influences the music, it, uh, the music, it influences the painting. <laughs> well, it's kind of like with music. I'm a, I'm a percussionist, and um, you don't always notice the percussion, but it, it's underneath everything, and it's supporting everything. So... It's integral to the music, but you don't necessarily distinguish it from the music itself sometimes, or, or recognize the role that it's playing, unless you're listening for that. Now, when I do paint, there are certain things that I always think about. I think about the little thirds, for one thing. Um, even though my paintings are mostly abstract, the eye works the way the eye works. And the rule of thirds is a great way to create a sense of depth in your, in your artwork. Um, and so I'm conscious of how the eye goes to the different, you know, to the interest points, especially, you know, right here. And right here, I would say, on this painting. Um, and then, of course, you have positive space, negative space. You have movement, energy, emotion. Um, I also typically paint with music on in the background. And I was going to do that today, but what happened was I got so excited to mix the sink, I just had to start. And so... And the thing is, is I also, um, I'm not going to let this just sit here and dry properly. Uh, I'm going to go uh, what, uh, what people call wet on wet. And that's basically because I'm immature and I don't feel like waiting around properly. So I've pretty much, you know, got the canvas 
mostly covered with this. Um, I can go as far as I want. I can add, I can keep, I can make it so it's all deep like this, or I can, or I can let a lot of the uh, canvas show through. It's going to be covered up later anyway. It's just a question of, you know, what, what am I feeling? And so I, I get to a point where something suggests itself to me, and then I, I start working with that. One thing to understand too is that the, like the thicker parts are going to take longer to to dry, um, even with the varnish. And using printer's varnish is very similar to using linseed oil with oil paints. It serves the same basic function. It reduces the tack, makes everything flow a little bit smoother. Um, ink is typically, printer's ink is a lot thicker than, has more viscosity than paints. And one thing I forgot is that, you know what, I, I'm not sure if I have any uh, um, paint thinner. Oh, I must somewhere. If I don't, I'm just going to have to throw these brushes away. But I don't know. That's I have some solvents of some sort. But that's one thing that was uh, about working with oils is uh, cleanup is a, is a bitch. Pardon my French. One of the things about painting wet on wet, of course, is that the blue is going to mix with whatever I put on top of it. Um, that's the disadvantage of painting that way. Of course, the advantage is that it mixes with anything, anything I paint on top of it. It's also an advantage, if you like how that comes out. Um, but I don't have to I don't have to paint over everything.
And of course, one of the things I often do is I will just take whatever time I need to look at the painting and feel where is it taking me. Okay, on to the next phase. So everyone knows that yellow and blue equals green, right? Good. And this is, by the way, oil paint mixed with some dryer, mixed with the ink.
All right, so now it's looking different. Hmm. Okay, so I found my paint thinner, so that makes things cool. Um, I mixed some red and white oil paint with some uh, thinner dryer, and I'm just going to work with it. And of course, while, while I'm painting with the brush, that really mixes it. The, the, um, using the palette knife, you can get away with it a little bit. It, it, it can stay cleaner for longer. It's easier to wipe off. Because I like what you can do once you start mixing it on the canvas, because then you can start creating other shapes and ideas. You can have fun with messing around with receding and advancing colors, for instance. You know, blue fades away from us, red comes towards us, and so you can kind of mess with the, the eye that way.
I gotta leave it for a while because it's just at that point. But let me zoom in so we can see where we're at so that later on when it's different, we can say, oh, wow, it used to look like that and that was better than what it looks like now.